Bill Gates says that other billionaires should be investing money, I mean huge sums of money, into renewable energy like he is. And this is one example of what Bill Gates is talking about. Nuclear boats. Boats powered by nuclear energy. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Bill Gates's company TerraPower has joined with shipbuilders to build nuclear powered ships. Now, the theory is that nuclear powered ships could easily replace coal powered, diesel powered ships, which are incredibly dirty and extremely polluting. Nuclear powered ships, as a result of this enormous investment from Bill Gates, are now closer to reality than they've ever been before. In the most significant development in the history of nuclear powered ships, which is, well, not even a thing yet, but apparently it will soon be, HD Korea Shipbuilding and Offshore Engineering, the biggest shipbuilding company in the world, a subsidiary of HD Hyundai, has forged a partnership with nuclear power firms Core Power and Bill Gates's Terra Power for the development of nuclear propulsion systems in ships, in boats. The agreement was made during the initial technology exchange meeting with HD Hyundai Heavy Industries. KSOE revealed that the meeting occurred actually in Washington and it was reported by Trade Winds News. Nuclear propulsion, of course, is the reference to nuclear energy. It's not a thing yet in boats, but it soon could be. In boating applications, nuclear propulsion involves using a nuclear reactor to generate heat, which is then used to produce steam or drive turbines to power the vessel's propulsion system. This technology offers significant advantages over traditional propulsion methods. What are those advantages? I mean, how is it even better? Well, for one, massively longer operating ranges. You're talking hugely longer, much faster speeds, a lot more power, and very little dependence on fossil fuel. Plus, this is probably the biggest benefit, cheaper much cheaper, theoretically much cheaper to run, and also much, much cleaner. These nuclear powered chips, in theory, would release no emissions at all. So that would be a huge bonus. The nuclear reactor centers around TerraPower's Molten Chloride Fast Reactor, or MCFR design. The design boosts nuclear reactor technology's role in cutting carbon emissions across a number of sectors, not just electricity. The company website says that MCFR operates at higher temperatures, making electricity production more efficient and also completely emissions free. So this is a huge step in the maritime industry. And if this were to happen very soon, it could, it could potentially transform the entire boating industry. Now, no one is suggesting that small boats, as in you know boats that people use for recreational use, should be powered by nuclear. It makes way more sense for small boats to use uh, potentially solar panels on the roofs that could help with battery charging, but also pr primary propulsion system for smaller boats is electric to have batteries. And there's now a lot of boats you can buy today that are powered by batteries and they work very, very well. However, large cruising ships, so large tankers, um, possibly possibly those huge ships that people go on for cruises and you have you know all kinds of theme activities on them those are the ones the industry wants to power by nuclear hd hyundai injected 30 million dollars into TerraPower, founded by microsoft's bill gates in november 2022 with a former eyeing nuclear propulsion for ships for a number of years. And Bill Gates, uh, he actually isn't really that big of a fan of battery power. I mean, he personally said that electric trucks would never work, even though, I mean, there's thousands and thousands of them on the roads now and many thousands more coming. And there's been actually more than $50 billion invested over the last three years into building electric trucks worldwide. So the industry does appear to be moving towards electric trucks, not towards hydrogen, but, Nuclear power in maritime operations is probably a better choice than electric, for large boats anyway. It provides a high energy density that enables ships, huge ships, to run continuously for extended periods without having to refuel. Over 160 ships are currently propelled by over 
200 small nuclear reactors. While most are submarines, that's the thing, it's really just used for submarines currently, this fleet does span various vessel types from icebreakers to aircraft carriers, highlighting the widespread application of nuclear propulsion technology in the boating industry. So not many people are aware of this, but yeah, there are a few nuclear ships already in operation. They're just not as good as the ones we could have in the future. And to be honest, they're quite expensive to build. The idea here would be to bring down the prices to make this technology available for a lot more boat builders. So a huge promise for long haul journeys and missions demanding prolonged endurance at sea. However, nuclear ships do require specialized infrastructure and safety protocols due to the potential hazards associated with nuclear energy. Therefore, the company will collaborate with the nuclear watchdog, International Atomic Energy Agency, or the IAEA, and critical global classification societies such as ABS and LR to establish a regulatory framework for marine nuclear reactors. Now, I'm kind of curious to know what you guys think about this. What happens when a nuclear ship, uh, a nuclear tanker, gets it gets taken control of by pirates, uh, Somali pirates, or you know, we've seen other boats in other areas of the Red Sea recently that have been overtaken by pirates. What happens to that technology? Could they potentially use that technology for something bad um, as a bomb? Could they potentially turn that ship into a bomb and use it as some sort of terrorist, um, terrorist weapon? I see it as being unlikely, but I'm kind of curious to know what people think about that. Thanks for watching.